Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. We're going to have a little bit more shop talk. So I've had many, many requests over the past few months really to go over some taps, the different types of taps and when to use them and what those different type of taps are, are used for, when, what applications. So I know for a lot of you watching, this is probably going to be pretty basic elementary you know, machine shop knowledge, but I'm doing this for the guys who are not educated with it that have asked me to go over it, you know, and then maybe the younger people that's growing up and going through the uh, shop class trying to figure this stuff out, okay? So that's what this is about. This is just try to help some other guys that aren't informed on uh, what some of these cutting tools are for. So I've, I've got a few taps down here. I got three different styles that we're gonna go over and I'm going to bring you in for a tight shot and we'll look at them, talk about what they're used for and then we're going to go down to the milling machine and we'll drill and tap a hole with each one so we can see the differences, okay? So the size tap that we're going to use for this demonstration is going to be a half 13. And I have a spiral fluted tap and we have a spiral pointed tap and then I have a full set of hand taps right here. Now the hand taps is going to be the most common uh, what a lot of guys are probably familiar with, what they see a lot of times and what's been widely used for many many years around the shop environment. Alright so let's go ahead and pull these out of the case right here and we'll um, we'll talk about it and then while, while I'm showing this I have a lot of guys ask what brand these are too so here's the spiral fluted tap that I've been showing in the videos recently and this is the brand right here it's sold by Drillco and these are stamped Korean made but they seem to be a very good quality tap uh, some of the stuff by Drillco is uh, made in USA and then they have an import line as well alright so I just wanted to share that Drillco alright and then this is the this is the three tap set and this is a common tap set here in the US and what you'll have now this is the we'll start with this one right here okay so this is your hand taps and what you have is you have a starter a plug and a bottom and that's what I call them. Uh, sometimes they're listed as a taper the uh, starter tap right here let's see make sure nope it's this one right here this is your starter tap and if you look at the the leading cutting edges right there you have a lot of lead angle there, a lot of bevel ground on that tap. And that is so that this easily starts down in a hole. It's not difficult to turn and you can start a, a good tapped hole with this right here. So this one, I call it a starter and I, and I know many people do call that a starter. That's the, that's the grind on it is a starter tap, okay? Your next one, this is considered a plug, a plug tap. It's a hand tap, but the grind on it is a plug. So you have, you know, what, three, four, maybe five threads total there that's got a, uh, an angle ground on it where you can look at the starter tap and see how much further back the grind goes, okay? So the plug tap or the plug grind right here is gonna be one of your most common taps that you'll find out there in the market. You know, if you run to the hardware store and need a tap to tap a hole, chances are this is the style tap that's going to be hanging on the shelf there is this right here and then the third in the hand tap series this is your bottom tap and you see you just have like maybe two threads that are ground on the on the leading edge right here and so this is what you would use to run the threads all the way to the bottom of a hole if you have a blind hole blind hole being that the hole does not go all the way through that it has a bottom in there and if you need the threads to go as far down as you can get, you'll have to finish it with this right here. Now, you don't use a bottom and tap here to tap a hole with. You always start with one of these two right here. It doesn't have to be the starter tap. You can use a plug tap, but you're going to have a lot better. Um, you're not going to have as much torque pulling on a tap by using the plug tap or the starter versus a bottom so this is this is good for cleaning up threads and running the, the the threaded hole all the way to the bottom 
Okay, so there's our three tap. These are hand taps, remember that. That's your hand taps there. All right, so now we're gonna move on. This is the spiral pointed tap, and if you look at the flutes, these are typically three flutes, where a hand tap is generally four flutes for a lot of the, a lot of the bigger sizes. So your spiral pointed tap is gonna have a grind there on the end of the tap, and what this is generally used for is tapping through a hole, power tapping. So you put this in your, your tap collet. A lot of times I'm using a drill chuck for mine because that's what I got. And you can use this, use this to power tap. And what it does is it pushes the, the chip forward as you're tapping instead of up inside this relief area of the tap. So perfect for through holes. If you have a hole that goes all the way through a piece of material, I got a little block right here. So we're gonna use this. If you drill a hole, you can power tap with this one and it's gonna push that chip all the way through coming out the bottom side and not get in the way of the tap, okay? So that's generally when you use a spiral pointed tap. These are also considered a gun tap. I uh, don't know why they're called gun taps. I've never researched that, but sometimes they're even listed as gun taps. I don't associate them with guns. It's just the style of tap is a, is a gun tap, okay? All right, so I'll move those out of the way. So our third one here, and this is the one that I've been kind of showing a little bit on the channel, uh, you know, doing some tapping here. These are really, really nice taps to use, especially in a production environment or uh you know just in general too uh these are your spiral fluted taps and you see it's it works like a drill bit most people you know what a drill bit is you know you have your flutes your your helix goes up the shank and it's going to pull that chip up and out of the hole as this tap is turning and going down into the hole there these are excellent for blind holes you know a hole that doesn't go all the way through and that's when I really like to use these taps right here. And they're excellent for power tapping as well. That's generally how I like to use them, but you can use them, you know, you still put your tap wrench on it and use it like you would any other tap. So that's our spiral flute. These are also considered high performance taps too. Sometimes you see them listed as that in the books. So we have our spiral fluted tap. We have our spiral pointed tap. And then we have our hand tap right there all right so hope you got all that let's run over to the mill machine and we'll drill and tap a hole with each one of those styles first one we'll start with is going to be the hand tap and generally you use your hands to to tap the hole with this so you drill your hole and you'll put your tap wrench on there put your center in and hand tap it you can power tap with these, but you have to be careful because the chips load up inside here and you can bind these taps up if you're not careful and break them off in there. So let's start with that one. We're going to use our 2764 drill bit. That is the proper hole for a half 13 tapped hole. Get yourself a good tap wrench. We're going to use a Greenfield tap and die number five and a spring loaded center. And don't forget your cutting oil. All right, and on your hand taps, generally what you want to do keep even pressure with both hands, make a couple turns back off to break your chip and keep going move it forward back off to break your chip bring our spring loaded center down a little bit more don't be afraid to keep some oil on it
All right, with your hand taps, most of your chips are going to get packed in here on your flutes. Okay? But if you have a through hole, a lot of times they just kind of fall through there. All right, so there's an example of using a hand tap. Now we're going to move on and we will use a spiral pointed tap. So we got our spiral pointed tap in there. I have it chucked up in my, in my drill truck and we're going to power tap it. I've got it in the, in the slowest speed, which is 80 RPM on this mill here. Now watch the bottom, I'm going to put some oil on it and I'm going to hand feed it down. You see it's loose in the spindle here, but it's just going to pull itself through the hole. Alright, once I get all the way through, I'm just going to reverse it and it'll bring itself right back out. So hopefully you can see the chips went down through the hole there in front of it and, does, and it didn't bind up in the tap. So now we moved on to our third tap which is our spiral fluted tap. So this is the one that I also power tap with and it pulls the chips up and away just like a drill bit would. And don't forget just like the others use plenty of oil. So I squirt it down just as I get started here and then bring it down into the hole. You see the chips coming up. Keep it old. Alright. I'm going to reverse it and bring it on out. There's a good shot for you right there. <laughs> see the, the nice chips that come up and out of the hole using the, the spiral fluted taps right there. There's you a little better close up of the three holes. And we had our hand tap, spiral pointed, and then spiral flute. All the holes look the same. They all you know all taps did a good job. It's just the three different the three different types of, of taps to get the job done there. So that's your basic crash course and some of the, the different tap formations uh, to kind of go over what we, what we talked about. Uh, remember your hand taps, which is like this here, your straight flute, typically a four flute. Uh, it just depends on what size it is. The smaller ones are three flutes, some, and then the, the larger taps get on up to you know, five and six flutes or you know, sometimes even more than that. But this is your most basic, uh, common, everyday tap right here. Nothing wrong with it at all. You can find these in your hardware store or if you, know, if you need one in a pinch. But they uh, still get the job done just fine. Uh, just be careful with them if you're power tapping. And make sure that you reverse it to break the thread. Okay. The spiral pointed taps. Excellent for through holes. Uh, not so good for a blind hole because the chips pack into the bottom and it binds up. So this is typically used for a through hole. Perfect for power tapping if you're uh, drilling a hole through a block of steel or, or any, any material really. And you want to power tap it. Excellent choice right there for the spiral pointed tap. And then the spiral fluted. These are just really, really nice taps. Uh, they're, they're generally a little bit more expensive to buy, but they, uh, they work great and they're perfect for uh, blind holes where, you know, a hole that doesn't go all the way through a part, unlike what I did here. If you just had a hole that was drilled, you know, partially down through there and you're using a tap like this, even if you're hand tapping with it, not power tapping, it's gonna pull that flute up in a way and not packing the bottom of your hole there. So these are really nice taps to have around there and I would I would suggest anybody to uh, have some of these in your in your tooling inventory, okay? So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that that short little demo there. 
And if you have any uh, questions, uh, drop me a comment. Let me know. I'll try to answer them. And as I always say, if you if you have a, a suggestion for another uh, shop talk video, let me know, and we'll see if we can get it in the list. Okay. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.